Recently, I had a conversation with a good friend who's a senior vice president at a large technology firm. And they are underway in an acquisition of a smaller competitor, yet their sales numbers have been slipping, and they have subsequently been through three chief sales officers in an unacceptably short time span. At what cost and why? First, let's talk about the cost. Lots of recent studies estimate the cost of replacing an employee to be anywhere from one half their annual salary up to two and a half times their annual salary. That's staggering. Who can afford that? Second, why did they? Sounds like all these folks have been good salespeople delivering their own impressive numbers, but once the firm's management elevated them to a role demanding leadership, leading people, they floundered. They understood how to, how to do the thing, but not how to train, mentor, encourage, and inspire other people in their sales department. They didn't know how to lead. It's probably not their fault, but what's the fix? I'll offer the parent organization never actually invested in them and their training and professional development. Not everyone's automatically a leader. Emotional intelligence levels vary widely. And it's very common to see top individual performers get elevated, but when the landscape changes, promotion beyond an individual's capability becomes obvious. Have you invested in your employees' training and professional development? Do you have a professional development program? If so, to whom do you open it? Do they apply to it themselves when they want to, or are they nominated? Is it an automatic milestone program? How often do you update it? Do you use outside vendors to deliver it and bring in a fresh perspective and free up your full-time employees? Here's a few things to try. In the first place, observe and thoroughly vet the individuals before thrusting them into a deteriorating situation. I recommend going so far as to get an actual assessment to measure their EQ, their, their people skills. Assign a mentor, or maybe two, to provide some over-the-shoulder guidance, some place for them to turn without feeling they don't have to go back to the boss and reveal their uncertainty. Expose and offer them access to training in-house or get it somewhere from the outside and bring it in so they have the confidence and feel prepared for their role. Metrics for success, you got to discuss and agree on those metrics that will satisfy your goals and the goals of the organization. And we got to make sure that everybody understands and concurs on the expectations around the metrics to meet the goals. Uh, so what happened at my friend's company? Well, apparently, after going through all three of those individuals, the roles still currently gapped while they search for the next candidate. That sales numbers continue to sleep while they're working to negotiate this impending acquisition.